Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Wednesday, February 25th, 2009. This morning I thought I'd go through build scripts again, but instead of deployment scripts, we're going to look at development scripts. Meaning, let's say you want to start from a base visual.im image and build up your development environment. And in this case, I'm going to show you what I do to build up my development environment for Bottom Feeder. So I have my script down here in a workspace, and this is just a simple little thing where I have a list of parcels that I want to load in. So I have all of those here. I just have the dollar sign visual works environment variable, parcels, UI painter, and so on and so forth. So all that stuff. Then I set my basic memory settings up. Then I come down here and I load in the repositories. Now you might ask, how do I know where those are? Well, if I come up here, I can import and export repositories through the launcher. All I did is I exported these repositories out to repositories.xml. And then, likewise, when I start up, I can import them. Now, I happen to know that I called this one repository connection to the public store Syncom Smalltalk. So I look for that particular one and I connect to it. And then I can use programmatic code to just load in all the stuff I need to from store. So I have bundle, newest version with name, package, newest version with name, and so on. And I load all that stuff in. Then finally, down towards the bottom, I load in the application specific stuff for bottom feeder, disconnect from the repository, set some application state here, and then finally, all the way down at the bottom, I just save my image under a development name. Now, the cool thing about this is I don't even need to highlight all this code and load it in. What I can do is quit this image, and then what I can do is bring a shell, and I can do something like this dot slash start vw on visual.im minus file in build dash bf dash dev dot st and what you're going to see is it's going to start filing stuff in from that file which in turn goes ahead and loads the parcels then connects to a store repository and then loads things in and finally saves the image. Now that's going to take a little bit because there's a whole lot going on. So I'm going to pause while things scroll through the transcript. Okay, as you can see, the script finished. And I've got, now if I do an ls minus l on star.im, you'll find that I've got btf-dev.im right here, saved this morning. So let's go ahead and quit this. And then what I'll do is I'll start it up, start BW on btf-dev.im. And you can see I started the image up. If I go to the tools menu, I have bottom feeder right there. Fire that up. And there it is. There's my bottom feeder image in the development environment. And I can bring posts up. So that's all there is to it. I create a script that loads my parcels, connects to a repository, loads everything from the repository, and then I just forget it until it finishes saving, and then I can go back to work. So that's about it. We'll leave it there for today. Till next time, have fun with small talk.